The secret weapon to Eric Clapton's Stratocaster lies right here in this knob. This is not an Eric Clapton signature Stratocaster. This is actually my 1990s made in Japan Fender that I kind of Frankensteined. Uh, this is no longer the original neck. It's got locking tuners. And these electronics are not the originals that came in this guitar. These electronics were taken right out of an Eric Clapton signature model guitar from the early 90s. So it has the sound and I can demonstrate exactly what his guitars do, even though this isn't exactly the guitar that he plays. Pretty close though. So like I mentioned, this knob right here on a normal Strat is a tone knob and so is this one here. But on this guitar and on Clapton's guitar, they do two very, very different things from your typical Stratocaster. The volume is still your typical volume knob, right? And your five-way selector switch works the same on the Clapton model. So a Strat, if you're not a guitar player, and I hope that you're watching this if you're not a guitar player, because I think this might be interesting to you. A Strat generally sounds something like, you know, you can kind of hear that sound. You've heard it before. You're familiar with it. You know, it's the, it's that sound. It can be this sound. Now, admittedly, this is not your typical Stratocaster, even when I haven't engaged the Clapton secret weapon, but it sounds pretty close to what you would find from a Stratocaster. But here is where things get interesting. Now, that's no pedals, that's nothing. That's just the guitar into the amplifier, and you'll notice it cleans up, right? If I crank hiss. What I'm not doing right now is just turning up the volume. What's actually happening on that lower tone knob is I'm engaging a 25 decibel mid-range boost. Now, this is what Fender came up with when Eric Clapton said, hey, can you make this thing sound like a Les Paul? They really dug in and they found out what frequency kind of made the Les Paul that much different than the Fender Stratocaster. And they found that it was this mid-range frequency and they boosted it originally 14 decibels, but that wasn't enough, so they went to 25. And inevitably what this does is it breaks up a tube amplifier. It gives you that great warm saturation. It sounds Awesome. Now I've got that on the bridge pickup right now and that's generally where I would use this. It's actually so freeing to just be able to take this and plug it into a tube amp and you can get that overdrive without having a bunch of pedals in front of you. And that's what Clapton does. There's a great Joe Bonamassa interview out there where he talks about inviting Eric Clapton to a gig at Royal Albert Hall that he was playing. Clapton showed up with literally a Fender amp, I think it was a twin from a store. It still had the tags on it. Showed up with one of his signature strats, presumably from the shelf, and just plugged into the amp and played. And I looked up the video and his tone is incredible. So all you people out there who are chasing pedals and cables and different amplifiers and speakers, it's awesome and it makes a difference. It does, but there's a lot you can do with just a guitar and an amp, and particularly a guitar like this. So that's the secret weapon. If you watch videos of Clapton, you're gonna see him reaching for this tone knob and it does something major to the sound. You can hear this versus this. You know, it does it in all the pickup positions. You can hear this versus. Pretty cool. One other thing that they designed into this guitar per Eric Clapton's request is that when you crank this mid boost down here, the second tone knob here is actually a tone knob because sometimes, depending on what you have your amp set to and what pedals you might be playing through, you might desire a little bit more high end. So if you crank the tone, it's subtle, 
but it's there. You can hear it. It's almost like more HD. This guitar to me is like a high definition guitar, particularly with these lace sensor pickups. If you roll it back the other way, get that really muddy kind of tone. Really cool though, still really cool. That's it, that's really the trick. And you know, I discovered this when I was a young guitar player and I would see Clapton reaching for this tone knob down here and I would do the same thing on my guitar and nothing happened. So I immediately realized, hey, this guy's got something different going on, but that's the secret weapon. You can hear it. It is a creamy, warm, overdriven sound and it's all coming from this guitar. If you find that interesting, please think about subscribing, liking, and checking out everything else I have on the channel. Maybe start with these videos right here.